Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am so hype about. You know how I love liquid lipsticks and I'm going to show you guys a brand new formula that I just tried out for the first time. This is going to be a full swatch video. Um, if you notice my nails are a different color, I totally went and got my nails done between when I filmed the swatches and when I'm filming the intro and everything on where I'm going to be talking. Anyone notice that, that's why. So I'm going to be testing out four of the more neutral shades for you guys because you know I love my wearable neutrals. I like to get shades that will go with a lot of looks, that work with a lot of different things that I know like I said I will get more wear out of they're more natural easier to wear easier to rock all that jazz so if you guys would like to see the application and hear my thoughts on this product then go ahead and keep on watching this video So I have always been a big fan of Lorac. I swear by their eyeshadows. I absolutely love them. I think Lorac is a really good color line. They're really good with their pigments and they really nail it on a lot of stuff. I have been a huge fan of the Alter Ego lipsticks. I think I have like six, seven, or eight of them. Absolutely love them. They're very creamy mattes. When I heard the Lorac Pro liquid lipsticks were coming to my Ulta, I was effing geeked. Like I was so ready to try these because I was like, I love their Alter Ego lipsticks and I was really hoping that these were gonna live up to my love for those and I can tell you up front they absolutely have. New launch at my local Ulta that these liquid lipsticks are a part of is the California Dreamin' collection. So they launched these liquid lipsticks, they nailed the color selection in these and I can't say that enough. Like some of the other ones I'm like oh I wish there was more nudes, I wish there was more this. Like Lorac freaking nailed it on these colors. They have so many wearable neutrals which is my absolute favorite. I know it's fun to get the fun colors but these are the ones I wear the most and the fact that I could get four that I knew I would wear all the time was just amazeballs to me. They also launched um, four or five new shades of the Alter Ego lipstick and a satin formula which also they are stunning. I tried to control myself and not buy them since I was already buying four liquid lipsticks on that day but those are beautiful as well. This whole lip relaunch they did at Ulta is like on point. These have been available at Kohl's already, I believe, and uh, so I know people have probably already tried these, already worn them, but for me, they just got to my Ulta, so I wanted the chance to swatch them, check them out, and then pick my colors and buy them. The formula of these is so amazing. It is not too dry. Oh my god, I don't even know how to describe it. We were literally trying them on at Ulta, and I looked at my friend, and I had just like one swipe of it on, just literally one line, and I went, <gasps> These are so smooth. Like, I was so hype about it. Even in that little application, I was like, oh damn, this is gonna be bad. Like, I'm gonna get so many. But yeah, I fell in love with the formula immediately. You get this type of color payoff in just one application. You'll see in the demo when I apply them and you see the swatches. They go on fully pigmented, they set to fully matte, they stay put. I just ate soup with this on and you can tell it has not budged, it has not gotten super dry. Like I can't say enough about how much I love this formula right now. Hands down, my favorite, definitely. Like I'm not even going to question that statement. This is my favorite liquid lipstick right now. So if you guys haven't tried it, definitely go and try it. The colors you're going to see in this demo are the four lightest shades in the range of the liquid lipsticks. So the lightest is Nude Rose. Dusty Rose, Plum Brown, and Sienna. I think in the demo I actually did them backwards, so you're gonna see the darkest of them, which is Sienna first. But the one I have on my lips right now is Nude Rose, which is the lightest. And a lot of times I feel like with the lightest color in a liquid lipstick range, I have to wear a lip liner. I'm sure you've seen it in my other videos. I feel like Voldemort, I feel like my mouth disappears. If it's too light, it actually takes my lips away. And with this color, their lightest one, I don't feel that way. I don't have a liner on and my mouth did not disappear. It's a very nice shade and it's not muting out my mouth or anything too much like that. I'm gonna do some quick swatches before the demo just to give you guys a first up close peek at them. This first one is that neutral shade. So that is Nude Rose. You'll see it's kind of a peachy pink neutral shade. This is what I have on my lips right now. Um, absolutely love this one. Super wearable with a ton of different looks. Next we're gonna do Dusty Rose, which is a very pretty, rosy, I don't even know how to describe that. It's a very pretty like mauve rose shade, but it's still very grounded, very neutral. So it's very Kylie Jenner. I always talk about my Kylie Jenner lip colors. This is like a true Kylie Jenner lip. I absolutely love this color. Oh, Dusty Rose and the next one, Plum Brown, are kind of similar in shade. You'll see when I apply them, they're very, very close. As you can see, this one just has a little bit more of a brown undertone to it. Still absolutely gorgeous though. Still one of those like Kylie Jenner nude colors. So those two, I mean really all three of these are just beautiful. None of them are bad. The last color I'm going to swatch is Sienna and I was a little iffy about getting this. I'm not going to lie because I felt like when I first swatched down my hand, it was going to be very orange toned, like a brick orange. But as you can see, like it really doesn't have that orange tone once it's on your skin. Like it takes on more of like a 
brick red, but like a neutral tone. It's not too dark, it's not too overbearing. So those are the four shades you guys are going to be seeing today. But you just saw the color payoff. Everything's amazing. These are four very wearable tones. If I'm going to splurge on something and get a product in multiples, I like to get colors that I know I'm going to get the most wear out of. So for me, rather than getting a blood red or a hot pink, I know I'm going to wear all four of these. They're all beautiful, beautiful, different undertone neutral shades. And... I can't say enough, they're awesome. So next you guys are gonna see the application of all four colors. You're gonna see how they go on the lips, how they apply, how beautiful they are. But other than that, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything else. Make sure you guys are following me on all my social media. Leave some comments down below if you have tried these, what shades you're loving, what you're not loving. Let me know your feedback. But until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.